Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Alexander Delhi. I'm a wedding filmmaker based there in Lagos, Nigeria, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel today. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in today. And if you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a new video in here. Basically, today I'm going to be concluding the, the series on how I shot my first documentary film. Basically, today I'll be talking about the color grading aspect. I was able to color grade my footages, um, both masking out part of my foot the footages, skin correction, uh, color correction, skin tone um, selection, and things like that. And combining that with the feel I wanted to have in my film. All right. So basically. I'll take it straight to my system without further ado i'll get started so guys um so here's the old footage um on my pc um it's totally a i believe you're going you go to my other content page to check out the full video on the upper date documentary uh, you can actually check my previous video um then you can go check the link there and you can watch the full um interview and shot now so basically today let me mute it a little bit mute basically today i'll be talking basically on my b rules one and most importantly the key reason why this is where i was made how i was able to collaborate the hlg future because i shot this on hlg from the interviews to the bureaus everything uh which one should i start with let me start with the bureaus first then we'll talk about the color grading now for the bureaus um like i said during the interview i was after the interview always do your interview first during the documentary so that way we've actually communicated and she's already talked about some things and during the interview i was, I was able to note um the part uh that she was able to nail properly like she was really interested because for every craft there's this part of every craft that you are really 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 always that's the part that actually that you enjoy the most for her when she was talking she said she would enjoy sewing more i know taylor so with fire jansen will tell you they prefer the cutting aspect but for her she actually enjoys the um sewing part more than cutting and drafting out or meeting clients so that's for her so basically during that process I was able to figure out okay this was she like this was she enjoys the most and this was she doesn't enjoy the most now those part i felt like she can carry out during that day i was able to because like i said this is a mini documentary it's like a spec work for me um so what i did was that those hook i mean those interesting parts i was able to shoot bureaus for them as you can see where she was talking about um uh let me unmute it i i uh when we completed that first yeah about i was like where's my sewing very neat do you understand that part i was showing her showing her where she was just doing a design the designing you know drawing on the table and um things like that and on and on and on she shared her experience and there was a part where she said something like, uh, there, let me play that part for you. Okay, like, you don't know how, I don't, I don't know how to explain the joy. <laughs> they have such a unique niche and people are wearing it and they're just happy. Like, you don't know how. This part, she was talking about the clothes she made. There are times that the clothes will give you stress. You know, you so much headache, sleepless nights. The most interesting part of it is that when you go through that stress and you see that clothes on one of your um clients or the client that actually ordered for that clothes you know the I joy in it and, you know <laughs> so this part i shot a bureau of her dressing the clothes or dressing the mannequin with the clothes you know adjusting oh, key things yeah, on that like attire that. And that, that was the inspiration behind me using the, this clothing, this particular design on the mannequin and not other um, 
other clothing design and the likes. So the bureau majorly contains a storyline of the whole process of she sewing, cutting, sewing, and everything. But out of that, I was able to pick out those key parts where she was talking about the particular thing, and I was able to use those key things to design to use as b-roll also. So I can use that as a full shot one minute for Instagram to show her from sewing a mat cutting the material, designing it, measurement and everything to sewing and to wearing it on the mannequin. I can also use part of those b rolls that I can fuse together and use them also as b-roll for when she's talking about those things from the sewing to the likes. So basically that's for the whole process for me. Uh, the way I was able to shoot my my um I was able to shoot my bureau okay. uh, when she's talking about the parts where she enjoys the most. Draw. Draw. The measurement of the paper, you know, pieces of the paper, pieces of the clothes. Do you understand? That's sewing, that joining back to make it. It's a lot of work. The most challenging is the pattern because it's a lot of construction, a lot of calculations. If you miss your measurement, you obviously just miss everything. If you don't cut, the can you right see when she's talking about the measurements? Um, actually, when she's talking about the me measurement, I'm actually adding, showing where she's measuring and all of those things. So that's how me, I decided to shoot this bureau. And I'm glad I showed that because it came out well. I had enough bureaus to put in. So because I've already seen from the interview what she was going to talk about. And I was able to readjust those things, you know, put those things, implement those things in my bureau. So I can have... You know, just I don't have just the interviews alone, but I have things in between to show or to show to people what she's actually really talking about. And a lot of the loss we actually, you know, it make the video interesting and also communicate uh, the video more to the viewers also. So, uh, yeah. So let's not go to the now. Let's not pick any footage and let's talk about the color grading. Look over here go to color grading all right here yeah, we are in the color grading session so you can see i have the, the saturation the skin tone the base uh if you have not watched any of my tutorial on color correction please if you haven't watched any of my tutorial go check it out i do love tutorials on color grading you know not to the extreme i'm not an extreme colorist uh but i do enough you know to justify my image the way i want them to look like you know no first of all let's turn on the base so this base is where i get to do the white balance you know uh so this is the before you know there's a green sh um, tilt in this so this is the after just white balance this is just the base and uh, then i move to the skin so this is where i get to select a skin so you can see this is the before just color base and now this is our skin i'll be able to pick our skin the, the our skin is popping out and also let me give you a full uh 100 okay 100 this is 100 uh yeah so this is before you know just color base just brightening up the dark parts working on the shadow adding contrast and the likes now this is our skin and see the our skin is popping out the brown colors are popping out the mannequin and the greens everything is popping out then i moved to for that what i did basically let me go back to the base i'm sorry skin skin take this off go back to the base so for the base take the base off this was it before after so what i did for the base was that i adjusted the temperature and also i adjusted the tint and basically i really use this auto white balance i really use it then I also went to the exposure, increase a little bit, drop down the highlight a little bit due to this, you know, contrast. And you can see based on my light, I think my light in here was really cool because if you look at her eye, there's a catch light in her eye. I think I'll do a tutorial on lightning interviews and, you know, it's, it's to some extent, I think, um, you know, I'm not the best, but I know I'm trying <laughs> and I'm doing well. So the white also, I increased the white. Uh, I really push. I don't really push these things. The, the things I really push basically is the highlights, and also I go to the curves. I also adjust the curve a little bit to so just bring out the red because the red was getting too much, and also the green also. Uh, I don't think I touched the green, but I only touched the the red because it was looking too red, uh, too much. 
So I worked on just a little bit, just a little bit of S S curve on the base. Now let's now go to the skin. So for the skin, what I touch basically is this HLG. That's where HLG was. I pick up this color picker and I pick any part of our skin. And uh, sorry, I pick. Control Z. So I pick any part of our skin and uh, adjust the color correction, adjust the color as it didn't, as I didn't feel as, it, as it looks cool to my eye. And also one thing I also do is this: I use this color scope, this lumetri scope, to check for what I'm doing. This scope here is the skin tone. This is for the highlights, and uh, this is for the white balance. That is what I use. Can you see this is properly white balanced because the the RGB are almost in the same area of level. They are not too high and not too low. So that's for that. Then I go to the desaturation. This way I just get to do some freestyle. You can see everything is back to normal. Normal freestyle. I can add more style to it. In here, I can only decide to add some lot. If if I there's some lot I pre-installed here, you can see you can add lots, you know, and add different style, whatever, you know, then desaturate it a little bit, you know, depending on what you want. I mean, this is looking cool. Uh, this is the before, is after. Um, let me go to 100. So this is before. This is after before after before after you can see everything is popping out as need to be so uh for this tutorial i didn't really use lot. i really use lot but i have them in store so i'm not one of those guys i'll tell you oh you don't need lot you need lot but you need to understand the basis of lot why do i need lot you understand so i know people just put their footages apply lot and boom they are fine but if you can color grade you know and you apply lot to it it gives you it opens door to more you know more um creativity other than you just depending solely on lot i'm not preaching against lot i use lot in some situations but i understand the basis for using the lot that i'm using why do i need lot do you understand what i'm saying so basically that is just it so i'm not preaching against lot use lot but understand the basics of color reading so you understand the reason why you're using a particular lot you know, and some lots when you apply them without having enough uh, room to apply lot, you mess up the footage that you know really. So if you're white balance, let me show you for example. Uh, let me create another. Um, let me create a new. Let me turn off this thing, the coloring I did, so I can show what I'm talking about. Uh, let me add a new, um, a new lumetri. So let me add a new, a new lumetri. So this is a new lumetri. Uh, on this color grading. There's no cloth. This is just the way I shot it. Let me now add lot. Let me just add lot. Can you see how it looks like? Look at everything just wobbled all around. Not, you know, there's no precise. Look, look at the way this green on the, the mannequin. I always look at how they are looking. Tattered. Now, let me close it. Let me turn on my uh, color grading. All right, can you see? Now let me now add back the lot. Can you see now? There's a huge difference. All right, in the way this the footage is accepting uh, the colors. So um, it all depends on how you you know you want to do it but this is the way i color grade if you want a deeper knowledge on how to color grade i'm just showing you how i color grade this uh, um this documentary i shot but if you want a deeper knowledge i have tutorials link uh in my in my in my um, youtube channel you can watch more and you'll be fine so yeah basically i think that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial um if there's a difference or a change in the lightning just due to the fact that this part was shot <laughs> on another day uh a message uh, okay out out all right so guys if this part looks all right so that was it for today i'm so glad if you 
enjoyed the tutorial sorry for the change in the lightning if you notice that uh this tutorial was shot in a, this part was shot on um, a different day uh from the day i shot the intro so uh thank you guys very much for watching my tutorial today if you haven't subscribed can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you can be notified each time i post a new video and if you're a returning subscriber guys you're the best and i hope you crush it you this this channel benefits you and your creativity keep creating keep exploring keep learning i see you guys some other time peace